rhythm and drums in a booming track. Shugs and you've had hot dinners. <laughs> it all really started in '92 at um, at a punt I here in Barcelona with Scudero. It's where I learned how to DJ, and it's also where I learned how to have a half a gram in one line. You know, fucking mental back then it was. I was just. Pissing MDMA for five years straight, man. Just on it constantly, you know. It was there that uh, I came up with the Raji dance, you know. See all them kids who were doing it, right? They and all this and that, you know. It was fucking because of me, man. Tazo and Ace and Chrissy G are actually my bands. The reason why Chrissy G is such a fucking mint DJ is because he's from me. So Chris, if you're watching this, you're a wicked DJ, son. But it's because of me. You get that from me, son. DJ Chrissy G! I had to give them up, basically, you see. I was fucking off the reels, mate, back then, like, you know. I was fucking full of cowie. Sniffing lines and banging nines, you know. I was a right little fucking slag back then, me like, you know, a DJ stands for disc jockey. And you could say that uh, back in my day I was a dick jockey, you know. I remember one night I was getting blasted around the back of the bench from jockey. That was a fucking good night, I tell you that. Not so good for the fucking lad I was riding, I tell you, because I snapped his fucking banjo, you know. That was uh, back in me tighter days, you know, before gravity and my promiscuous lifestyle caught up with me, you know? Now I just let everything hang out. I signed up to Tinder, right? I said I was 29. I might not look like 29, but I tell you what, I fucking shag like one. Look at this, man. Look at all these people, man. Boys and girls all lining up to ride the big fucking dipper. Yeah, man, you daft bastards. I'm a fucking mountain lion fresh out of Saltwell Park, man. No one's ever been able to tame me, man. I remember one time, right, we're in the monkey, and uh, Techno T came up to us, and he was like, Come here, I'm strong now. And I says, Yeah, pet, don't start giving it the big end, right, saying you're gonna do this, this, and this to us with your dick. When we'll both know that you fucking drive your car on the other side of the road. You know, you're batting for the other team. Now, I'm a Christian, I'm not prejudiced, but don't start giving it big licks when we'll both know I'm not your type. Coming on strong. Yeah, man, it would take you years to make me come, son. That's some of the best nights in my life in the monkey, like, you know, carried off me not. Third degree goons and that, you know. Everyone used to call his uh, Auntie Tina in there, you know, Tina Gurner. Can you remember when Stretch got on the mic at the hangar and fucking said, But! DJ Matrix, fuck you! Well, basically, what the crap was with that, right? I had uh, nothing to do with the monkey or the hanger. What it was is, is uh, I was jockeying both of them, you see. And uh, in the end, I ended up going with Matrix because basically he had bigger vinyls. 12 inch master! So, Stretch, if you're watching this, son, sorry about that. Maybe one day you can uh, come and give Nana the good stuff, you know? I've got this feeling that's inside me, gosh. Empty space and I'm a naughty lass. See, me keen eye isn't just music, son. It's a way of life. And that's why I'm going to keep on dancing, keep on DJing, and keep fucking nicking cows until I'm dead. Right, son. I'm gone. I need to go to the post office to go and get me gyro, you know. Fucking going to get a couple of grams and then I am getting right on it, I am. Now, yeah, just remember, right? If you're going on the full, down shields, 
don't be silly and wrap your willy, because the birds down there are fucking filthy, especially the ones in the fucking garricks. ta -da, son. Flying free.